Trump is upset again, not just at Fox News or Politico. This time he's now lashing out at 360's Randy Kay, and he's with nothing more than misinformation and misplaced ire, frankly. She reported on this program last night about a Trump event in South Carolina that was sparsely attended compared to his other appearances and compared to a later appearance that same day. Trump apparently did not like that and attacked the messenger this morning on New Day on CNN. Your reporter in South Carolina, who is absolutely terrible, she uh, covered the, my speech. I made a speech to the uh, African-American Chamber of Commerce in South Carolina, yes. wonderful people. And the room was full. Every seat was full. When I went to the stage, everybody rushed forward. They all rushed to the front of the room. It was a ballroom. They all rushed to the front of the room. And when they did that, you had half of the seats in the back were empty because everybody was standing in the front. Mm -hmm. And we had a great time. It was like a great thing. She starts off, the CNN reporter, absolutely horrible reporter, she starts off saying, oh, look, the room is half empty. Mm -hmm. The room wasn't half empty. Everybody was standing right next to me yeah. in the front of the room. Well, make no mistake, everything you just heard Donald Trump say is wrong. Here again is Randy Kay. I'm just excited about seeing him in person. The enthusiasm was there, but the turnout was not. We arrived at the North Charleston Event Center, capacity 1500, about 90 minutes before the scheduled start time of 2 p.m. And 30 minutes before the speech was to begin, the hall still looked like this, more than a third empty. At least. Hello, Mr. Trump. Randy Kay with CNN. When Trump arrived, he was happy to see us. CNN. Come here, CNN. <laughs> but that happiness turned into something else entirely this morning, after he saw our report last night, noting the room was only about two thirds full. It had hundreds of empty seats. Listen to him on CNN's New Day. Your reporter in South Carolina, who is absolutely terrible. She uh, covered the, my speech. I made a speech to the uh, African American Chamber of Commerce in South Carolina. Yes. Wonderful people. And the room was full. Every seat was full. Every seat full? Not so much. This picture was taken while Mr. Trump was speaking. Here's some video around the same time. Notice he's on stage. And notice the many empty seats in the back of the room. Again, Mr. Trump. When I went to the stage, everybody rushed forward. They all rushed to the front of the room. It was a ballroom. They all rushed to the front of the room. And when they did that, you had half of the seats in the back were empty because everybody was standing in the front. For the record, not everyone was standing, and the empty seats were empty because they were never occupied. We weren't the only ones who noticed. This New York Times headline reads, A day of empty seats and Donald Trump in full attack. The Washington Post headline, Donald Trump says he didn't speak to a half-empty room, but he did. The Post writer, Philip Bump, noted Trump's comments about our reporting, then fact-checked it, posting this photo from the Associated Press. Notice all the empty seats? Trump is at the podium. The Post noted this one, too. Some people standing, most not. The Post summed it up this way. CNN's assessment appears to have been the correct one. We also pointed out in our reporting that the event was sponsored by the South Carolina African American Chamber of Commerce. But the crowd was overwhelmingly white, with only a handful of African Americans. But on CNN's New Day, Donald Trump denied that, too. Well, they had many African Americans. They had many white people, too. Here's another angle of the crowd. Note the ethnicity. And yet another angle. In television, pictures tell the story, especially this story. Kay joins us now. Uh, and just to be clear, as I remember last night, you also talked about a second event he went to that was uh, better attended, correct? It absolutely was better attended, but this one, not so much, Anderson. Right. Okay. Um, this polling that Trump keeps quoting that, that has him doing so well with African American voters, what about that? Well, the poll that he keeps talking about shows him with 25% support among African Americans. He talked about it yesterday at the event that we were at. And he says even that is a huge number for a Republican candidate to have. And it is. The trouble is, though, Anderson, is that this poll that he's quoting and keeps quoting is not one that CNN's polling unit thinks is reliable. I'm told that this particular poll used a sample size that has a very small subset of African Americans. So the estimates from them are considered to be unreliable. In fact, Anderson, other polls with larger, more robust samples of African Americans have found that Trump is decidedly unpopular with the group. For example, after Trump kept touting that poll, we looked at the Gallup poll from this month, and that poll found that just 16% of African Americans had a favorable view of Donald Trump, and you can compare that to 72% who said that they had an unfavorable view. But Trump never mentions that poll, no matter how many times he talks about his support among African Americans, Anderson. All right, Randy Kay, appreciate your reporting, as I always